This video will show you how to use one of these to make your voice sound even better. Really good quality, particularly if you're doing voiceovers, radio promos, any kind of voice work and you want to sound great. A few tips in Audacity for you right now. Now, I would recommend you go back and watch my Adobe Audition How to Make Your Voice Sound Better video. I've given all of these tips over in Adobe Audition, but I thought it was time to give you a little experience as to how it might work inside Audacity. My same secret source inside Audacity. Let's hit record. Hello, this is Mike doing a quick voiceover. How does it sound? Okay, there it is. Nicely recorded in a mono track in Audacity, not recording in stereo. Don't want to waste too much space. So, very simply, I'll use my ENCN secret source to make the voice sound better. E for EQ, N for normalize, C for compress, N for for normalize. So the first thing we want to do is add a little bit of EQ effect and we'll go to equalization. Uh, now the equalization is great. You can sort of drag it up and down. I'm going to make it very fine grain so I can really see what I'm doing here. Um, that's the line that you can play with. Now in Adobe Audition it's much easier to uh, move the EQ around and see what you're doing and preview in real time. Audacity is a little slower but it is a piece of free software so hey we're going to give it a go. Um, so first of all going to do something very simple. I'm going to raise the highs okay on my voice and now to listen back I need to click preview hello this is Mike doing and you can see it takes a little bit of time to render so if I take the high end off and preview it hello this is Mike that's my original now I'm gonna add on a significant amount to the high and a significant amount to the low so a kind of high boost and a low boost you can see it in a traditional form if you wish as well click OK to add a little bit of EQ. So just a simple high and low boost there. That's the EQ. Then I would normalize it. Now to do that in Audacity, you simply go to Amplify. By default, it will try and amplify your audio to hit 0 dB, the same as normalizing, but the feature is called Amplify in Audacity. That is absolutely fine. You don't want to peak over 0 dB and you don't want to reduce it because otherwise it's not going to do too much. So now makes it the maximum uh, it can be without distortion, which is great. So it's ready for compression. This is where we use the compressor. Uh, now I've had a little play with this. Default settings threshold is usually around 12 dB. I've moved that down to around 30 dB. Uh, the noise floor you can move up and down as well and uh, I would leave that around 50 dB. Ratio, uh, it's usually around 2 to 1 by default in Audacity. I usually move that 3 to 1. If you're doing radio promo work, you might want to go 5 to 1. And attack time, release time, I move right down so it's working really hard to compress that voice. Let's see how it sounds after this. There you go. See, it's fattened up the voice. Let's have a listen. Hello, this is Mike doing a quick voiceover. How does it sound? Now I'm just going to reduce the volume of that because it is a little bit noisy. So we'll go into the effects menu again, amplify, and I'll take it down by minus 3 dB so I get some headroom to work with. Hello, this is Mike doing a quick voiceover. How does it sound? So you see how really easily inside Audacity you can use just a few effects, EQ, normalization, and compression to make your voice sound better.